Well, hi there, and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Lights. As always, I'm joined by Johnny Ward and Gavin Lynch. How are you guys? Did you Good. enjoy last week? Loved it. Loved Good. It. Absolutely loved it. The Friday as well as the whole weekend? Yeah, just mostly done that. Good stuff. Uh, any, <laughs> any personal highlights? Uh, had to be Texas Radio. Yeah, he came back to form. I yeah, backed him. Is that a highlight? Like? <laughs> it's just it's not just a highlight for you, Johnny, because you're so negative on him. Yeah, no, it's great to see him win after we backed him three or four times. So it's just great for connections. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> sickening. Sickening. <laughs> Just because you deserted the good ship Texas Radio. And we knew we wouldn't stay a mile. <laughs> Haven't backed him over seven and he stayed a mile. There you go. There you go. Johnny? Parry Passu's victory for Tony Mullins. I like when Tony is a winner. It was quite enough um, Friday, but great stuff at Leopardstown. What a weekend we had, to be fair. Yeah, absolutely. So, it was a perfect hors d'oeuvre. Good old buzz. Good stuff. Right, let's start with the 5.30. A lot of these familiar with each other on this uh, opening maiden on the card. Anything jumping off at you? No. That's fair enough. It's a... Uh, one of the poorest maidens you'll see. In fact, the winner would probably in it is yeah, yeah. the winner. But, but we love them though. <laughs> we do. Um, the first race, the winner will probably end up uh, being eligible for a forty-five to sixty-five. So that'll tell. Yeah, you. I don't think that's an unfair assessment. Yeah. No. Well, you know, the the favour is possibly going to be above us only Sky, who's rated sixty-two. So uh, last week, uh, last time out was drawn very wide. It's drawn wide again. It might win, but I won't be back in this race. Fair enough, Johnny. Only Sky. Lovely. Um, like this is an eight grand for the winner race should be more horse coming over seven and a half grand from from england for races like this and particularly another race i am going with luna's luck who was quite well back for michael halford the yeah. last day has a little bit to find with above sony sky but is less exposed tense of selection uh, in a tricky race i'm still trying to deal with your singing there uh, mm. sorry you you completely distracted me let's move on to the six o'clock uh two mile of this one um by the way as we boss stands out a little bit for me in this um used to be with mick halford now with tom cooper and uh, Shane Foley back on board. Anything for you? It hasn't run on the flat for almost a year and a half. Ah, yeah, but he's fit though. He's been fit. He is been over hurdles. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go for a horse that uh, loves Dundalk. So I'm going to be contradictory here because he, he's zero from twenty-five in the last two years at Dundalk. <laughs> he loves it so much. Yeah. He never wins there. Uh, political policy has won there numerous times. Uh, he almost, I think, holds the record for the most wins. He uh, hasn't he, run there in his one in his last twenty-five starts. Yeah, he hasn't won there for two years, and he's not from twenty-five. Yeah, but he really he was really close behind Irish Poor. He was two runs ago. He was only just chinned, and the last day he ran okay behind She's a Star. So I won't back it, but political policy. Yeah, Connor Healy, who of course cost yes. us a lot of money that time we backed Texas Texas Radio. Good to see good, good, over good it. lad, young Connor, yeah. and uh, very very solid selection here. Ran well over hurdles the last year for a seven-year-old on bad ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Solid old horse. Uh, probably the shortest place favourite of the night's coming up in the next. Nivo, can you see past her? No, it will win. Yeah. Uh, don't know what price Can't it'll be. Can't be beaten, Gavin. Can't be beaten. How it's got short a huge a price rating would she have to be for you to not back her? Two's on or worse. But okay. She's got a huge rating of 68. So based on that, she must be a good thing. Um, second is Afu, second to Worcester, third to Bidajou. Step down and trip's not really a problem. Pat Smullen, I'd say, will jump out from stall at five and probably make all, so Nivo should win. Yeah. Rated 68. What can go wrong? You know? <laughs> yeah. Put the it certainty into of 68. <laughs> with Boover there, Sam Crow, Apples Jade, Lorena, you know. Yeah, absolutely. That's actually a five-timer, but yeah, Nivo should win. I don't think the drop and trip's a big problem. No. Okie doke, fair enough. Let's move on to the uh, Alska Swedish Cider Handicap. Never tried it myself. Johnny, you're back on the old saucies. Have you tried it? Yeah, um, I didn't try it, but I tried everything else last Sunday. Met Lee Chin, Mikey Fogarty, and a few other characters out last Sunday night. That is shameless yeah. name dropping. Yeah. Shameless name dropping. Well, I can safely say they weren't name dropping my name. <laughs> I bet they were. Nice. It was all, I heard it was all over Wexford social media. Red Avenger. Red, Red and Blinder here two weeks ago um, at a big, big price. And I thought he was so weak in the betting day. Expect him to come on for the run. Great chance here, I think. And uh, should get a nice toe from Grey Daniel, who, as we know, doesn't get a mile. Correct. Exactly. And we should always avoid horses that don't get a mile. From Correct. Mm -hmm. yep. Especially Go for, over a mile. Yeah, especially, especially yeah. Texas Radio. Sorry, he's not running here. Go uh, for it, Gavin. Yeah, Red Avenger. I think that Carried and Grey Daniel might take each other on. Uh, Carried is uh, drawn five with Pat Smullen. But yeah, Red Avenger has been left on 78, so that should do. Good chance. Uh, right, on to this uh, Shabra charity race, by the way. Do you think uh, Anthony McCann here will have Tell Me tuned up for this? Because, you know, Shabra charity. Yeah, that. he'd like to win it, all right. Um, when I looked at the first, I thought Bora Steps uh, stayed over, well over six the last day. But I just think that War Hero is the one for me because... Very solid. The last three times uh, it's ran, it's been second three times, but it's been drawn 10, 11 and 13, whereas this time it's drawn two. I'd say it'll jump out, try and make all to make the stamina test. I think Boris Steps will come there falling out, but hopefully War here will battle better. Have enough. Yeah, yeah. Johnny? All of the above there from Gavin. Uh, totally agree. And uh, this is a race where we should have more British contenders, really. Nine 
thousand and a bit. Yeah, to the winner, like probably only two re realistic winners. Uh, it's only for three rolls. Great chance here, the uh, the war hero. Yeah, fair enough. Right, on to the uh, Apprentice Handicap. This is a pretty competitive one. 11 go to post here for this one. I kind of like Storm Riker here. Uh, I'm sure you'll disagree with me on that, but anything you fancy? What do you think, Johnny? We're both, I think, with the later here. Just dropping back to notes, seven yeah. is a big uh, positive under Gavin Ryan. Quite a few of my chances. Makalad back to a mark that really he should be competitive off. And Parry Fasu went up a lot, but uh, really won well, actually, last week. Yeah, and just did. looks a fine, big, improving type of horse under... The boy Macketeer, but uh, I'm with Zia later. Gavin, who are you? I can't choose between Zia later and Parry Passu. Just to confuse you, Parry Passu went up nine pounds for winning. The jockey's claiming seven instead of ten. Last week he put two pounds up overweight. Get out the calculators and work oh, on it. Out. We're going to have a new section, maths with yeah, Gavin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zia later, if you allow the jockey's claim, Gavin Ryan is a stone better off. Dropping down to seven should suit. So it'll okay. be close between. So who's the a stone well in? Uh, Zia later is better. Zia later, yeah. Okay, done. we'll go with that. Yep. Uh, right, on to the uh, closing race then, the handicap. A uh, few of these winners last time out, some better penalised than others. Anything jumping off the page, actually? There was two divisions of a uh, 45 to 65 ran three weeks ago. Bogwar was first, Glib Speech second, Get Go, and the other one was Carvelis, Miss Maribo, and Spinning Pearl. They're all running again. Uh, I'm going to take a chance with Bogwar, I'm sure it'll be favourite. It hadn't won for two and a half years, but uh, won well last time. It's only up um, six. six, yeah, yeah. so bug war for me. I'm going to take a chance. Schoolboy error at a whopper of a price. Uh, Shane Nolan, good trainer. Wouldn't have many flat winners, yeah. but this horse could be 25, 33 to 1. Doesn't have a huge amount of fine. One for Jamie Osborne off a similar mark. Who are you going with? Britain. Schoolboy error. Schoolboy error. The nine. I thought you were just talking about yourself there, not that. The actually. nine horse. Do you remember the old, the racing channel, they all used to say the nine horse. The, the four, nine horse. The three. Well, it's the nine here, schoolboy error. Okay, though, no, that's fair enough. Anything else for the rest of the weekend? We're going to give you a chance because you were so good last week and you gave us winners at Leopard's Town. So, uh, landed on a standing order. <laughs> yeah. uh, go on, Gav, you got all those winners for us over the course of the weekend? I, I think the best bet of the week is Head Turner on Wednesday in Fairy House. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you back him. Uh, I was only joking, it was yesterday. Saturday, uh, Pizza Hive for Gordon Elliott in the four year old race, and Sunday, a brilliant Hunter's Chase, Gil Gamboa. Will it be soft enough for Gil Gamboa? Yep. Yeah. Okie doke. The dubs in the handicap against uh, Donegal. I think it's six and uh, should be a formality on Saturday night at Crover. Okie doke. I think the Scots will win by one to 12, by the you way. You the Scots last week too. Yeah, that didn't go so Great well. Scots. Don't worry, man. <laughs> yeah. That didn't go well at all. Uh, but uh, it's okay. Back in, back in this week to back them to win by one to 12. Are they in Murrayfield, are they? Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Against the mighty French. Uh, okay, best bets for your actual Dundalk oh. card. Go on, refocus their voice. Uh, best bet of the day is War Hero to outstay Bora Steps over yeah. seven. Uh, Nivo, who looks a certainty in a poor maiden. And Bog War to show, hopefully he's back to the horse he was this time three years ago. Yeah. Red Avenger, War Hero, political policy in that order. Good stuff. And I'm with uh, Nivo, Asbury Boss and Storm Riker. So thanks for watching. That was Friday Night Lights this week with me, Gavin and Johnny.